Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? <laughs> I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And these memories I hold dear. You've always been extraordinary, Greenblood. But I had to watch over you. You were my responsibility. That didn't leave us much time for friendship. What about now? Now? I hope that we'll have more time. Anything else? You seemed really attached to Reyna. He brought some memories back. I was a bit like him at his age, and I felt responsible for his well-being. After all, I recruited him. Why? Don't tell me you're jealous of this poor kid. Don't be foolish. It's just that you seemed so hurt about everything he went through. I wanted to understand how you felt. That's kind. I'm sorry I made that stupid comment. This whole matter makes me nervous. I should have known that you were far too subtle to feel like that. Anything else? You told me that you enlisted at a very young age. But do you have any pleasant memories of your childhood? Some, yes. Why? What kind of memories were you thinking about? Tell me about a happy memory of yours. A memory that makes you smile. I have a few sweet but blurry memories of my wet nurse. I remember her smell of crushed flowers and herbs. But when I try to remember something happy, it's the memory of a later event that stirs. The memory of a day when we skip training to go for a swim in the river. It was spring. We waded for a good part of the afternoon into a marvelous little cold stream, running over a bed of round pebbles. <laughs> Isn't it odd that that appears to be my happiest memory? No. It was a moment of freedom. You were carefree. I guess that's why you remember it. You're right. Since that day, there hasn't been much room in my life for being carefree. Anything else? Rolf appeared to know you well. What was he to you? A friend? A rival? A little bit of both. I wouldn't have willingly chosen him to be my comrade. And yet he was. And he was always picking at me to make sure that he was the best, the strongest, and the most appreciated. I suppose we all have someone like this in our past. Did you not experience that with Constantine? In fact, Constantine always spared me. But I remember a little pest named Lady Isabel very well. I don't know if you remember, but she could not stop making mean comments to me. She always thought I was too unkempt, never delicate enough. She would do everything in her power to ridicule me. Yes, I remember now. That brat was really insufferable. You were far superior to her. Which probably explains her behavior. Anything else? Zieglinder appears to know you well. And to have a lot of respect for you. We fought together. That brings people closer. You know that. But I can assure you that's all there is to it. Actually, up until now, I've fought by your side more often than I have hers. Yet you still manage to surprise me. I certainly hope so. Just as you surprise me often. Finding pleasure in discovering new aspects of one another's personality is half the fun of a relationship, isn't it? Anything else? Now that you've taken care of Major Herman, have you begun to think about the future? Yes. For the first time, I feel free to do so. I hope I will be a part of it. I must admit that I still find it difficult to believe that someone as gracious as you may have found an interest in someone like me. But nothing would make me happier. Anything else? I must leave you. I'm glad you came to see me. 
I wanted to talk to you. I'm listening. What's going on? And now it seems the proud warrior cannot find the right words. Such a fool. I, um... I know I was your master of arms for a long time. You were young then. But now... You have become a beautiful and fascinating young lady. And... Would you like to spend some time with me one night? Away from the others. Alone. Meet me outside my room the next time we return to the house. I'll be there. And, uh... I can't wait. Anything else? I must leave you. Your Excellency? Do you still want me to be with you? Of course, you idiot. Come here. I'm afraid to ask. But what happens now? You're everything that I want. And everything I love. What about you? Do you want me? I mean, in the future? I cannot imagine life without you, Kurt. I love you too. My sweet excellency.